What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna be doing a little bit of a different thing. We're gonna be going to Walmart only with the $25 spending limit on lures. So I'm going there and I'm picking out some of the best baits to use and some tricks that I'm gonna teach you guys in today's video. All right guys, I'm in the fishing section right here. I'm gonna pick out a few lures that we're gonna be using today in today's challenge, the Walmart challenge. Let's see what we're gonna be using. First thing I see is a craw, black and blue. Probably gonna be perfect with the rain. So we'll try that out. Of course, we're gonna switch it up though. We're gonna go a little bit heavier. Water's moving, so go straight through half. All right, guys, we made it to start this little Walmart challenge. Made it to the river. Okay, so the baits. Um, I just recognized that when I was in Walmart that I didn't get all the baits uh, to talk about them when I was in Walmart. So I need to get over the few that I didn't talk over about in Walmart right now. First bait. Strike King Rage Tail. The reason this is gonna be a good bait today is because they absolutely love crowdheads this time of the year. Springtime. Next bait. Yum Dinger. Awesome bait for a slow presentation that we will be using today. Oh, next bait is the Rattle Trap in a red craw. Awesome, because they are smashing on crawdads right now. And with the lipless crankbait, you got a lot more moving water to cover. Perfect bait in the spring. And then for the terminal tackle, boom! Some worm hooks. And then for your other terminal tackle that we've been slaying small mouse with is your Strike King jig. So now guys, now you know the baits we're using. Let's go slam them. The body of water that we are fishing today is the Des Moines River. And we are not only fishing the Des Moines River, but we are fishing a creek that comes right off the Des Moines River. And that is right there, Des Moines River. Bam, creek that goes all the way around. Perfect spot for smallies to be sitting in, in this slow moving water. So hopefully we get some today. And stay tuned because guess what? We are gonna slam some smallies by the end of the day. It's still early, it's 12. So I'm taking a crawl that you would usually use just on an open hook, but I'm gonna make it to where it fits on this. So they have little spots right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it, pinch off like this, you get rid of that. Put it in my pocket, plastic. So I'll throw it away later. So look at that. Now I have an awesome trailer to throw onto here. So the black and blue, onto a regular thing and onto a regular jig so check that out whoo now we're gonna give them a dangle all right we're gonna go ahead and make the move um this spot didn't end up panned out there's a lot of snags um once this lowers this is gonna be a killer spot for some smallies but we're gonna head to the next spot so don't worry guys don't 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 be stressing we're gonna get us some smallies today. Maybe even some other species, but smallies for sure. So don't don't be stressing, guys. All right, let's go to the next spot. Holy smokes, boys. Look what I just found. <laughs> Look what I just found. Oh yeah. That's a good one. Nice. That's a nice one. Heck yeah. That's why when you're walking through these creeks and stuff like that, you gotta keep your eyes open. I did not expect to see any of these today. Nice. That is a really nice one. How oh, long those are. Sweet! Holy cow, guys. 
<laughs> right next to the other one. This is an awesome spot. Look at that. That's like a broken off one. That must have been a fighter. Look how thick that is. Wow. Wow. We're just, this just turned into something crazy. Wow. Just because I found two antlers, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you what I've been doing. I'm just walking the side of the creek. I'm guessing this is where like it flooded and these antlers probably got pushed down the river. So I don't know. They were sitting right next to the river. Sweet. Awesome, bud. Awesome. Well guys, I'm prob you probably can't hear me right now. So I'm going to talk a little bit louder than I usually do, but I'm going to be throwing a lipless crankbait at a pond that I have access to, which is my work pond. Uh, I went to a few other ponds that I didn't know if they had crawdads and I know there's one pond for sure that has crawdads and that is here. And if there is crawdads in the ponds, these are killer baits to have. So if you don't have one, I recommend you pick up one because these will definitely get you some fish. All right guys. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness, look at this smolly guys. Whoo! Oh yeah. On the lipless. I told you guys. Lipless crankbait is the way to go with ponds with crawdads. Look at this thing. Whoo! Beautiful. Man, you cannot beat that at all. That's a beautiful stout smallie. Let's go ahead and get the weight on him. Two pounds, 10 ounces. Not my biggest one this year. Probably my fattest though. He looks chunky. Look at that belly on him. I'm half tempted to throw this again, but we're just gonna go ahead and let him, let him be free. Alright, buddy. Thank you. Ooh, he's beautiful. Bye bye, buddy. So that was on my first cast, guys. On my first cast for Okay, so the baits that I'm using today are not only used for um, creeks, but they can also be used for ponds. And well, not only creeks, but rivers. These are just awesome baits to have in your tackle box in the spring. A lipless crankbait, and like I said, if they have crawdads, the red. Red's killer this time of the year. I'm not gonna say today was actually that bad of a day, because, I mean, yeah, I only did get to one smallie on the uh, rattle trap, <clears throat> but I didn't go out here and expect to catch a lot of fish because today it's only 37 degrees, and fish are being really lethargic. The temperature from the river has dropped probably 10 degrees since the last time I went fishing and that was Tuesday. That's a big jump for these fish. So they're probably, they're probably there. They're just not biting. So I just got to wait for the water to warm up a little bit more. But the one that I got today was good. But not only did we catch the fish, we got, ooh, they came together. We got some antlers. Guys, that's just crazy. Those are some good antlers too. I just, let's, let's go ahead and look at this one because this one's a thick one. Look how thick that is. This was a big boy. He was a big guy there. Lost an antler, but yeah. I actually had fun today, even though it was a challenging day to get one. We're gonna have to redo this Walmart challenge and I'll have to, go and buy the baits again so you guys 
basically not say I'm cheating. We'll go back, spend $25, and do the challenge over again. All right, guys, let's get to this. So I thank you guys for all watching. And if you liked it, go ahead, hit that like button. And while you're down there, go and hit that red button. So I thank you, every single one of you for watching. And I'll see you guys on the next one.